Welcome, everybody, to The Road to South by Southwest. I'm Steve Garfield, and we're joined by uh, my friends. That's what this is all about, friends uh, joining together to talk about their plans for South by Southwest. And today, we're talking about Monday, March 12th. And we have Cece Chapman, Jason Falls, Lynette Young, and a special new guest, <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey... Powers. Hello. Yes, Geekazine, <laughs> as we think. Geekazine, Geekazine. I went, so I went, we to, I went to join, and, and my computer just blue screened. Apparently, uh, Logitech has some driver issue. Get a oh, Mac. Man. <laughs> Get <laughs> a <laughs> Mac. So we're on I a got a Mac. Schedule. It's sitting right there. We're on a little <laughs> bit of a tight schedule. For Jason, thanks for coming in and joining us today. And uh, so we're going to go to Jason first, and here are his plans for South by on March 12th. Jason. All right. Uh, you picked a great day to have me on to talk about because on uh, Monday, March 12th, I will be uh, my South by Southwest panel this year uh, is Social Media Comes of Age Without the Aid Help of Porn uh, is the name of the uh, title. I'll be with Jeremiah Alyang from Altimeter Group, uh, Katie Payne, Queen of Measurement, uh, Dave Evans, and Lisa Joy Rosner from NetBase. And so that's going to be uh, at the Intercontinental Stephen F. Austin, apparently, at 9.30 in the morning, which means that everyone there will be just coming from the bar. Uh, <laughs> and what, a lot, a lot what, more. what was the title of it again, just so we can... It's, it's Social Media Comes of Age Without the Help of Porn is the title of it. And uh, I'll drop that in the chat for anybody who wants that link. Does that, in, does that include the porn music? Because I really love the porn music. You know, if they don't play porn music, I will bow check a bow bow into the microphone. Okay. I may yeah. have some for you. You can actually have That will be fantastic. <laughs> uh, I'll write something up before I go. <laughs> Good deal. And then after that, um, uh, this is gratuitous uh, self, uh, self-plugging here, but uh, my publisher is doing a book signing for No Bullshit Social Media in the South by Southwest bookstore at 11.30, I think. So I'll be signing autographs. And I do sign books to random eBay user if you're interested. That, that nice. Um, <laughs> and then the last thing I'm doing on Monday is uh, Get Ready to Live 3, uh, which is kind of an off-site event uh, that uh, Tim Hayden puts together. Uh, and I get to do a, a fun talk at that event uh, called uh, Inside Baseball. So I'm not going to be talking about social media at all. I'll probably be wearing my Red Sox hat as well. So uh, That's my Monday. Other than that, I'm just going to be kind of hanging out and talking to people. Okay. Very good. Thanks Thanks so much for joining us, and stick around as long as you can. Will do. All right. CC, what's, what's your Monday looking like? So my Monday is funny. Um, it's actually the one day that I didn't find a lot of sessions that I wanted to go to, so it's kind of my catch up with people day. I've got interviews scheduled for Passion Hit TV, I'm catching up with people over coffee, but the one, the one, the one panel that I'm really excited about, and I, I'm, I think you're going to it as well, Steve, is the Cinematic Storytelling and Journalism panel, which is at noon in the Austin Convention Center, Exhibit Hall 3 and 4. I'm really excited about it because it's got people from CNN, YouTube, Vimeo, and Stanford University all talking about how storytelling and jour- has changed the face of journalism. And I'm really jazzed about that panel, and it's, it's the only thing on my schedule for Monday. So I'm really excited uh, to check it out and see what it's about. I figure with those creds and those sort of people, it should be a, a great, great session. Nice. Cool. Jeffrey? Yep. Well, oh. I... Yep. What? Go ahead. Who? Where? Why? I uh, I decided that uh, I, I'm going to set together my schedule like I actually do have a ticket because there's a possibility that I will have a ticket for South by Southwest. So I went through the schedule and I found a lot of cool stuff on Monday. Um, the one thing uh, at the beginning, uh, AJ Vaynerchuk, which is Gary Vaynerchuk's uh, son, our uh, brother, not son, <laughs> but brother, um, is I believe it's his brother, is going mm-hmm. to be talking about harvesting consu- consumer intent from the social web, which is pretty cool. Um, he's going to be with Edward uh, Box, Botches, Botches, Botches. Ferris, Ferris Bostic, and Jeff Janer, and Jolie O'Dell. Um, so that should be a pretty interesting panel. 
Um, Harry McCracken from Time. I know that's a funny name, but you know, uh, some people are laughing. And but he's, he's very a smart serious. guy. He's a very smart guy. I'd very love to have guy. that last name. Are you kidding me? Exactly. <laughs> he's got he's got lessons from disruptors, which uh, is, uh, game changers for startups. So that should be a pretty informative uh, session there. Um, and then of course Kevin Smith has got the business of Kevin Smith, which I might be taking, but it's also at the same time I believe as Beer and Bots with Dean Kamen. Now I ran into Dean Kamen at CES, and I, I, you know he's just been one of those people you, you want to meet and you want to talk to for five minutes, and and I can't wait to hear what he has to talk about with uh, Dean Kamen and Mawa Denki is that session. Um, then uh, Biz Stone's actually going to be talking uh, content as means for social change. Um, let's see what else. Uh, Morgan Spurlock is going to be talking on the new golden age of TV, which, you know, since we're all in this over-the-top television type realm, definitely want to take a look at that. Um, and then, uh, let's see, uh, Lisa Kudrow is going to be television's new guinea pigs, which is another OTT type uh, session, which I'm very excited on. And then, of course, Sean Parker will be there uh, talking about uh, launching different companies, and that'll be pretty cool. And then that evening, uh, I'm, I'm going to try and make the cloud launch by HP and, and go from there. Um, and then, of course, uh, the big one is the, what is it, uh, the FormSpring party, uh, which uh, I'm going to try and make, too. You're, CC, go ahead. I know you want to say. Sleepy, he's dying. Dude, I for, for, for anybody watching, <laughs> Jeffrey, Jeffrey is a first-time South by South liar. He has no idea. <laughs> No idea. How impossible no that's going to be. I mean, there, there's. I'm laughing because just letting you know, not even even if every single one of those was in the convention hall next to each other, right. there's no way. No way. <laughs> the the exactly. over/under on this is two. <laughs> I'm with, with Jason. The over/under is two, and I. I you, there's no. There's really. Just no way. You I, think it's well. Well, it depends on where they are. Not knowing the locations of those. Yeah. That's that's more. There's no way. I want you to report back. You know, well, that's that's okay. Those. I didn't I didn't I didn't get the message today. To wear my Boston hat. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a good challenge because when it gets to be my turn, I am going to a lot of those same things. So then we can have a competition. There and we you can go. See there you go. How many people actually did their plan on this day? So well, when that how, well, oh, once again, I, if if I don't get a ticket, I'm not going to any of these. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Lynette, how's your uh, Monday looking? Yeah, it's kind of funny. I'm with Jeffrey that I'm I'm working on a ticket as well. Um, but the thing is, is like even last year was my first year, but I knew enough to at least pre-stack my list to see which ones I knew I was interested in instead of going through the 100-page book when I got there and trying right. to figure out I got 10 minutes to get someplace, where am I going to go? So at least if I say, okay, if I get caught up and then I, you know, the the hallway chit chat and I miss a session, well, then I have to live with it. But if I find that I am where I want to be at a certain time, at least I know where to show up. Um, so I've kind of, you know, pre-curated all the garbage. Um, I actually had found a lot that I liked for, um, for Monday. It was funny because I was looking for Jason's talk and I searched bullshit and I couldn't find it. But now I know I have to search for porn to find Jason. Yeah. <laughs> so nice, sweet that. That's a keeper. <laughs> that is good. No more bullshit. <laughs> what happened? We switched to porn. Um, Always. <laughs> you should do a breakfast called BS and Porn in the Morn. <laughs> let's do that. Let's organize that. That'll be, okay. a, that'll be a good thing to do. Sunday morning. Let's just do it. Save BS and Porn in the Morn. Yes, in the morning. Somebody bring the videos. I'll buy the food. All right, we're in. <laughs> um, I'm distracted now. I found a couple that actually a lot of them that I liked on Monday. One was how to be strategically unlikable online, and that's by a big agency guy. And I think that's kind of going to be the the best practices of the worst practices of how to drive people away, kind of as a case study. So that I found interesting. Because um, what we deem as common sense isn't. Uh, one that I found was really cool, and I kind of like the concept of it, was there's a it, there's a Palm Park meetup tent, apparently. And I guess that's one of the um, grassy pieces across the street from the... Um, from the conference center, so you know, remember they had they had tents set up in beer and yep. all this other kind of stuff. So I think they're using them as meetup sections, which I thought was really cool. And there's actually a Game of Thrones meetup. So while I don't think I'll get to it, it caught my eye because I'm a huge Game of Thrones fan, and I like the idea that they're giving people a space for meetups, you know, so I mm. thought that was kind of cool. 
Um, the next one I liked was actually social media in the underground world of B2B, because that's where I live a lot in my work. Is you know I I'm in New Jersey, so where the uh, you know finance and pharma we're all over here, and, and chemical companies and just all that type of really old hundred year companies that are all B2B and they always struggle with this space. Um, they don't have to though. So that I thought would be interesting. I saw Jason's book signing, which I have to say the book signings are on the on the corridor on the outside. So even if you're not badged, you can usually get into that. Yep. Um, but, anything that's in the conference center. But it's upstairs. Center, up the escalator. Yeah, but it's upstairs. Oh, yeah. that's right. It is upstairs. Right up See, there. we were just talking about the before. They check you at the escalator for your right. badge. So I yep. have to find the back door in that Zane had yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> to get up there, but yeah, you can get to the first floor corridor on the bottom, but to get upstairs where the book signing is, that's right, you need a badge. Um, one called Moms and Management, Parents Make Awesome Managers, so that one I was kind of curious at. And uh, the last one that I think I really want to make um, is Why Women Fail to Rule Social Networks. So that one I find very interesting because it's the other half of what I do professionally. It's, you know, if women rule and we have the numbers on the social platforms, why aren't we more vocal and all that other stuff? So I'm kind of curious on somebody's point of view on it. And the woman who's giving the talk is actually from Germany, so I'm curious to see if her viewpoint is different being not here. So cool. that's what I got. And I don't know about any parties or anything for Monday night. I'm not even looking that far, so I figured I'll just ride the tide and wind up going to some drinking establishment and... Roll with the punches. Yeah. Exactly. All right, guys, I got to bail, so thanks for having me, Steve. All right. I hope to catch up on the recording and see what you're going to do. I will find all of you at South by. I'll see you there. Okay. Absolutely. Sounds good. Thanks. We'll all be at your party Friday night, man. All right, we'll see you there. All right, see ya. So that was cool. I like being able to have someone in the chat that is actually presenting that day. So um, yeah. my, so my schedule, I, I get to, let's see, I shared it over here somewhere. Let's see if this is it. Um, what does that look like? That's for it's Friday. Right? Oh, okay. Saturday. Keep scrolling. <laughs> yep. So what this is, is the South by um, Southwest.com schedule app, and it's not the greatest. That's why other people have come out with their own apps. But I've defaulted to using it this time. And the cool thing about it is that um, I can publicly share this URL so people can go to my website and then click on it and see real time. You know, I can update it, and as I add sessions, uh, they can see where I'm going to be. So this is actually, I scrolled up, let's say I want to scroll up a little bit more to Monday. Maybe if I make it bigger, I don't know if you guys, oh yeah, you will see that. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that's very cool. I like this. So um, here's my Monday, and the first one is very cool. Look at the title, Explorations in Corporate Zoology, okay? <laughs> this kind of thing will, um, you know, catch my interest. And so it is being presented by a good friend of mine, Tim Huang. You know Tim Wang? He did, um, um, oh shoot, the, the uh, internet, Raffle Khan. Oh, You know okay. Raffle Khan? He did a conference all about internet memes. Yep. Tim is very creative, so I'm just, so th this again is an example of something I'm going to because of the person. Tim's doing it, I'm going. It's 9.30 in the morning, nothing else conflicts with it, so I will definitely try and get up that early and go to that. Um, next up is um, the one, Jeffrey, you mentioned, Harvesting Consumer Intent from the Web with, so A.J. Vayner, Vaynerchuk and Jolie O'Dell and Edward Botches, all three of them I know. So I think I might want to go to see that. But at the same time at 11, events are now platforms. That has Loic Lemure and Robert Scoble um, at the same time. That looks like a good one. So I might Go to both. Ex you know, one is at the. Um, oh no, one's at the Intercontinental Hotel. So where, good the luck with is, that. where is that, CC? I don't know where that one is. That's what I was just thinking. I was just thinking, where is the inter? I don't even know where that oh, hotel so is. Oh, so I'm gonna ha so I'm gonna have a, a choice to make. Um, then at noon is that one that I'm gonna want to get back to the cinematic storytelling and journalism that looks really good. We're all gonna go to that one. And then at three, beer and bots with Dean Kamen sounded pretty interesting. Um, he's the inventor of the Segway, so you got to give that a look, I think. But then at 3.30, we have 
the new golden age of TV with um, Andy Forsell from Hulu. Oh, and Morgan Spurlock, who I actually met at South by two years ago, and he was a great guy, really genuine. I love everything Morgan Spurlock does, so um, I might want to really try and get to that one. And then um, sneaking in at 10:30 is there's a comedy track at South by, and um, you know, that has just started and gotten bigger and bigger and bigger, and there's a ton of comedy events going on. So this one at 10.30 is over at Esther's Follies, and the name that jumps off the page at me for this one is Reggie Watts. You guys know Reggie Watts? Mm -mm. Um, CC, do you know Reggie Watts? The name sounds familiar, but I don't know who he oh, is. Reggie, you know. Go to YouTube and um, type in Reggie Watts and find some videos of his. He is unbelievable, really funny, great guy. Um, so I'm going to see if at 10.30 at night I can go to a comedy show with Reggie Watts. Cece, are you looking up to find the directions it is, between... It is, it is a half mile from the Hilton to the, uh, to the, um, the Intercontinental. The Hilton's the one down here... At A, oh, I, can't, I, don't, I don't have a point. Yeah, I can see it. A is the Hilton. B is the Intercontinental. So it's a, it's a half mile. <laughs> mm. So it's not too too bad. Okay. Yeah, just go up and walk down six. So it looks like it's behind the Dr by the Driscoll. Oh, that's not bad. No, it's not too too bad. <laughs> I would take some planning. I yeah. felt nervous last year taking those pedicab. I was like, wow, am I that lazy that I have to have another human being pedal me around? They're fun, though. But I think I might try it this year. I took it down to the um, that um, electric plant that they had a huge Nikon concert in. Oh. It was pretty far away. And uh, I took the pedicab. And then later I found out people die on them. You know, it's somewhat dangerous. Oh, but what? they're fun. <laughs> well, there are stories, but it's it seems decent. The guys, it's their little business, They and so I was happy to support those guys. Aren't so, they sponsored, though, or no? Uh, some are. Sometimes. Some are. I mean, I would think to tip them anyway. That's kind of in my nature, riding New York cabs all the time, but yeah. So I got, I got my uh, first, will you wear my t-shirt at South By? Um, I wanted to show you guys what it looked like. Um, so well, here, can, can you guys see? It says, I'm storifying this whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. What do you how much, think? How much did you charge him for? I think for it's it? pretty ridiculous, but it's it's kind of funny. It, South by is all about quarter the quirky T-shirt. So, um, you know, how much am I charging him for it? They just yeah. said, "Hey, will you wear my shirt?" I might wear it. I thought you were. I thought the shirt was going to say, "I'm Steve Garfield." Get over it. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> I do we should all wear those T-shirts. <laughs> Uh, I got a nice Twitter T-shirt that says at Steve Garfield with the Twitter uh, name on it. That's a pretty cool one. That's a tweet T. No, CC, they didn't uh, pay me to wear they it, didn't. but I love Storify. That's one of my favorite it's, apps. You know what? I saw an app you're going to love. Have you seen Tomorrowish? Tomo all spelled the right way. Tomorrowish. Dot com. I might have heard of it. What so, is it? They're, they're Boston. They're Boston based. Um, I saw oh, them yesterday at TEDx. Um, they used to be something like Tweet Feeder or something. Oh yeah, they they sync up tweets with TV shows. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Or them. any yeah, video. I know them. Yeah, we yeah, they're good guys. I met them yesterday. I'd never seen them, and of course, my first question was, why aren't you pulling an Instagram in there and photos? He's like, well, that's a good idea. <laughs> it's not rocket science, but. Well, um, one of the things I wanted to mention, because um, I missed yesterday, you were talking about pedicabs. There's some company called the uh, Urban Airships. They're like a pedicab, a bar, and ten people pedaling all at once. <gasps> I've seen those. I don't know where I was where I just saw those recently. I fly and then I forget what city I was in two months later. They're having yeah, them in I Austin this year. <gasps> Ann and I, I don't know what it is, on Sunday morning, Ann and I are doing one. And I don't know what it means. But they asked us if we would go on this thing and have a conversation with people who signed up to be on it. So watch out for those things. That sounds kind of scary. There's a Drinking bartender that walks in the middle. Yeah. I think there's like six and six. And yeah. I'm thinking you're walking, you're you're pedaling off your booze as you're doing it. Yeah, but you're drinking and pedaling. That just sounds stupid to me. It's <laughs> funny. I honestly don't remember the city that I was in that I saw it. It was probably well, in California. 
They're not San Francisco. Urban airships. Suck. They're out of Seattle. I don't know if that's where you were. Maybe I was. But they're going to be in Austin this remember. year, so that watch out for cool. them, guys. So um, there was there was uh, just one death from a pedicab accident in 2008. <laughs> you know, because I want to be clear on this. I had to, and so the <laughs> city of Austin. Uh, released a draft of um, petty, a pedicab ordinance. So since then, they've they've straightened it out. So I've taken one every year. I have fond memories of my first self by riding a pedicab from the Dig Party, which was way out in the middle of nowhere, with Scott Monty in, in his pre-Ford days. Riding, I take one every year <laughs> to some party. So I, I like the pedicabs. Just make sure up front. If you take a pedicab, ask up front how much it's going to cost, and you agree to a price. Right. And and I've never been. I mean, there are good guys, and it's kind of a fun way to see the city. Right. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for uh, being here today, and thanks, everybody, for watching. And then maybe you're watching the archives of tomorrow's show. will be about um, South By, and the Tuesday is March 13th. And we're going to be there in, like, a few days. Which Isn't is that nuts? kind of crazy. Because <laughs> um, i got to get going on doing my taxes. One know? more thing. Uh, <laughs> this Saturday is uh, Daylight Savings Time. I know. Yeah, it always happens right in the middle horrible. of South by. Wait, okay, we go guys. forward, right? Yeah, we go forward. Sunday morning is rough. Right. You lose an hour. Yep. All right. Bye bye. See ya. Catch you tomorrow. <laughs>